Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Conspiracy Theories with Spencer. And today we'll be covering how everything is virtual and how we're in a matrix. So basically, it all starts in the donut earth. So that's going to sound a bit weird uh, because our earth is a sphere. But we're all in a matrix and everything is virtual. And the real world where we're actually being stored is a donut earth. And we're in tubes in a government labs hooked up to VR headsets. And they're doing this because of the ongoing war with the aliens and how they have to find the superhuman. Or I shouldn't say superhuman, but the most genetically capable, I would say. And you see, they're doing this, yeah, because of the war with the aliens and they need the best human specimen, they can start the Spartan program, like in Halo. And so they put us in the virtual world because they need to test our capabilities to find the possible superhuman, but they don't want to actually give us, you know, cause us bodily harm, so they're doing it virtually. And that's why we are in a matrix. So now you may be wondering what is death if we're not actually dying. Well, in the virtual world, we die, uh, but we don't, you know, our real bodies actually don't die. It's the government unplugging our headset and then executing us because we're not a possible, you know, superhuman anymore. The ideal superhuman age is from about uh, early 20s to uh, maybe early 40s, I would say. But yeah, so when you come out of your early 40s, they start, they just let you live until you're in, you know, when people usually die of old age. So maybe around, you know, 70 to 90. Because you're not a possible suspect anymore. They're just letting you live so that people don't get suspicious. And here's why we would get suspicious if they just executed us right off the bat of early 40s. Because then we would start wondering, you know, why do people die immediately after their 40s? And then, you know, we'd look into it and we'd probably figure out the matrix. But to hide this, they let people live until about their 70s to 90s. And now we're going to discuss and cover the computer that controls everything, the beast. The beast monitors everything you say, uh, you do, and if if it hears you talking about it, Usually, you have to hide from the uh, government for about 24 hours, and then they'll, you know, pick up on a new case. And uh, if they hear you talking about the beast, and you don't hide from the government, uh, and, you know, cover your tracks or something like that, then they'll send government agents to your tube and the donut earth in the government lab, and they will execute you. And uh, our next issue is global warming. So global warming on the donut earth is very common because, you know, it's in it's in the future because they start we started our world in their 2016 when VR was invented. Meaning they're in roughly three point year 3.5 billion. And every you know, global warming would pick up a lot by then. So here's how they solve it. They have thrusters on each side of the donut earth. And it's like flipping the cool side of the pillow. They just flip the down earth every million years. And they already have a backup set up, a ba- you know, a backup lab and stuff. And they just have to, you know, it's a big, it's a big uh, job they undertake. They transport all the possible superhumans over there. And then you may be wondering, how do we get new humans if we're all in a virtual world? Well, there are roughly 100,000 birth mothers selected from the... Uh, tubes and their job is just to give birth and that's how we get the new humans for the tubes and then the babies are put in a headset and they start their virtual life but first before that happens you know you can't have some baby that may have a vivid memory of the real world as that may jeopardize the entire government operation so it is they it's like men in black that little flasher thing they have that erases your memory they do that to the baby right before they put them in the VR headset. And 
this concludes our first episode of Conspiracies with Spencer. Thank you for tuning in. Tune in next time for more uh, conspiracy theories.